Good morning, you guys. So, how are we looking physique-wise? So everything's kind of looking a little tighter. Side flexed. Front flexed. All right, so that is where we are and today, TMI, but for girls, it was the start of the period, so my weight did spike up a little. Um, I was like bordering high 139s because I'd been bloated and then finally I hit 140 because it started. So yeah, you guys, for girls, I would track when you think it's going to start and when it starts and then when it ends alongside of your weigh-ins. All right, guys, I kind of stopped using this board because it's a pain in the butt. I always have to wash it with water or towels, just a lot of work. So I started using just the regular old whiteboard. So here are my weigh-ins so far. So I skipped yesterday, so day 12 I forgot to weigh in. So day 13, and I put that. But I started tracking when I was bloated. All right, so it's morning, so I'm gonna try to chug this down before anything else. Guys, some other good news is my little uh, point and shoot camera that I mainly use is coming back. So UPS notified me that it got shipped and it will be arriving hopefully this Friday. So today's Thursday, so tomorrow. I'm super excited because I thought these warranty things usually take forever, but they fixed it within probably a couple weeks of receiving it, maybe less than two weeks. Feels like forever that I haven't had that camera because I love it so much. The reason why I love the point and shoot, by the way, for you guys who may be starting a channel or have, have a channel, maybe you have a DSLR, is the um, portability and also the fact that you can get away with recording at a lot more places like I had when I carry the point and shoot around people are not intimidated around me I mean you shouldn't care what people think but um, you're less likely to be told to put your camera away but when you have a DSLR or just a bigger camera it just looks intimidating and it looks like you're up to no good or it looks it just looks weird so I like the point and shoot just so I don't have to hear from people what is that for and all these questions. And it kind of just looks like a tourist camera that you just do that. But that camera that I have is as equal um, quality wise um, as the A7, the nicest A7, I forgot what it's called. But the A7R I believe. So I love that thing and it's my number one go-to camera. And I like that the screen flips up and I can see myself kind of like in selfie mode without having to get rid of some of the quality. Like when you use an iPhone to record, um, this is a good starting camera, but the front camera is crap. So when you're on selfie mode and you're just trying to be accurate, it's very, very low quality. So you have to flip it the other way and vlog this way. I've gotten better at that, but I still, yeah. All right, so next set of news is the thumbnail. We're gonna address that. Am I quitting this diet? Am I throwing in the towel? Am I not even going to summer shred? All right, quick answer is no, I'm not quitting, but this week um, I addressed this in that memory card that I reformatted and didn't have the data so I didn't get to put out that video anyway so no I'm not quitting but my coach and I this week we're taking a break from coaching so that means like I am still actually counting macros Monday through this Friday I'm still counting macros I'm still working out and I'm still doing my cardio assignments as if I was getting coached still with the same macros and everything and then this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I am not doing the 10K challenge, so don't get excited. And I'm not just eating all out 
you know, until like I feel like dying. But I'm going to be practicing intuitive eating, which is just like eating what you're cravings and then also stopping when you're full. Intuitive eating and just taking a diet break and uh, not being gluttonous, not like eating till I feel like throwing up but I'm going to start enjoying myself this weekend. I'm not gonna use my fitness pal. I'm just going to eat what I'm craving and I've already been trying to compile a list, but guys, I know myself and this is what always happens, right? So I'll think, oh, I get to do whatever I want and I think, oh, my appetite is so high right now. I can eat like a lot of food. But every time, like even on my birthday when we went to Bacchanal's um, on the strip, really nice buffet here I could not even eat like half the amount that in my mind I thought I could eat so my eyes are bigger than my stomach so I know that's gonna happen this weekend where I'm thinking oh all these foods I'm gonna be enjoying and yes I will be enjoying myself but I know my appetite's not that high as I think it would be so I know I'm not gonna be able to put down that many like actual calories and food uh, but yeah, I'm gonna definitely have some Krispy Kremes. I've been like craving that and I've been, what else have I been craving? I've just been craving like boba tea, things that I am not having, not because it doesn't fill my macros, but because it takes a lot of your macros up and they're not very good like as far as keeping you satiated, like just a glazed donut just goes through you like nothing. Boba tea is just liquid calories, so that's the only reason why so yeah so I am going to be enjoying myself Saturday and Sunday and I don't plan on vlogging it because I keep the weekends as my day off so Monday through Friday I actually work work and then the weekends I do have client check-ins but that's kind of my YouTube off mode where I don't have to think about vlogging or editing um, but yeah you guys that is the plan and then I'm going to do my check-in on the 1st, so I think that's Sunday, like as usual. And then I'm going to follow my macros again, and then we're going to start coaching back up then. So, I'm going to be coached by my coach for the next 12 weeks or 3 months afterward. So, he's going to get me shredded, and I am super excited. And guys, um, the next thing I want to kind of touch on... But I'm not going to dive too deep into it because I want to make a separate video about this later in the future. Is like for me, do I need a coach? Like could I not coach myself? No, I don't need a coach. But why do I personally have a coach? Is because sometimes like even I am kind of like um, doubtful. Like well, can I get shredded? Like... Do I want to quit? Like, there's going to be points in your dieting where you're just like, why am I doing this again? <laughs> like, why am I not being able to enjoy, like, some of the foods that, like, everyone else gets to eat? Like, while well, everyone else gets to eat fro-yo almost every day, I'm here, you know, counting my macros, and yeah, I could fit it in, but I don't want to waste my calories and thinking about all this stuff, but... I mean, for with like any fitness journey, there's a reason why you start. And, you know, now that I've already like, I already pre-bought the next three months of coaching. So I'm locked in, right? Now I'm like forced to do this. And if I don't do this, then I'm not only disappointing myself, I'm disappointing whoever's coaching me. And you, with coaches, you guys, you can't lie. You can't be like... Well, yes, I perfectly did my macros, counted my macros, and then I gained five pounds. Like, it doesn't work that way. They can see through it. Coaches know what they're doing, hopefully, if you hired the good ones. But, yeah, they can see through your lies, or they could actually keep you accountable. So that's the number one reason why I personally have a coach. It's the accountability. Like, the I have to do this because I already purchased this, um amount of coaching for cutting like you know I can't just back down on my goals so that's kind of a smart way to do it you guys is if you want to reach that goal physique whether you want to gain muscle or lose fat or whatever or you have a deadline I'm not saying you have to have a coach 
but if you've tried to do this by yourself and you just either are not dedicated or maybe you actually don't know how to adjust your own macros because it's pretty easy and there's a lot of videos on the like basic basic way of doing it without getting too much into detail and I wanted to say that adjusting your macros there is a dumbed down way to do it yeah you just take from your fats and carbs mostly carbs but also like their protein aspect, all these things is really a person to person basis. Like I hate to say the generic term of like it's personalized, but it is like if you have a good coach who's not just sending everyone the same macros and is adjusting it to, you know, how much lean mass you have and also like your macros in general, how active are you, stuff like that, your workouts, um, your lifestyle, like all those things kind of affect your macros so yeah pers a stay-at-home mom would have way different macros than someone who's working a full-time job and maybe doing sports and all these things and and their lean body masses are different so their proteins are going to be different they could be the same height the same like from the same mom they could be twins but if their lean mass is different and all that that's gonna affect their macros so you just can't send the same macros to the same person um, with different needs. Like if someone's doing sports, they have different caloric needs than somebody who's sedentary, maybe just staying at home, working from home. And yeah, I don't even want to dive into cardio assignments. So yeah, you guys, you got to work with um, your client. And I've had clients before who couldn't do the cardio for some reason. Either they're too busy or work too much or whatever. So there are clients that I've coached without doing cardio assignments, but it's, it's just more miserable because that just means cause that means less food, but it is doable because I, I have seen um, clients transform without using cardio. Magical, but you up to? Can I have a minute of your time? You want me to my heel and forget you? All I know, it can't be done. I'm only asking once, would you let me take a minute of your time? You might just be surprised with where it gets you. All I know.